What is going on, everybody? Tamagotchi here. In today's battles, we're going to be showcasing Lorantis and why it is a great spice pick for this Open Great League meta. With access to Super Power and Leaf Blade, it can hit a lot of Pokemon with super effective damage, especially those Lanterns and those Steel types that you see. So they paired it up with Mantine and Kanto Ninetales. So thank you, Ripley32, for sending in these battles. They also have a YouTube channel down below, so I'll link their YouTube channel in the description down below. So make sure you go check them out. Give them a subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. And hey, while you're at it, give this channel a subscribe too because we make great videos onto these battles here. So Lantern into Kanto Ninetales. This is not the best, but they're gonna throw the overheat to get the maximum damage off. It would be nice if you had the Solar Beam because Kanto Ninetales can learn Solar Beam, but that is a shiny costume form Kanto Ninetales. Going for the Leap Blade, but the opponent caught on the Trevenant, which is quite fine here because now you just go into the Mantine. You get a shield with the Ice Beam, and that is absolutely amazing. You can probably almost farm. You didn't want to farm down because then you want to come in with Lurantis and get energy. And since this is a grass type, you're gonna be resisting the Thunderbolt and the Surf. So that is great news for you. Gonna shield up that Surf. That probably would put it into a range where it could maybe spark all the way down, but you had a shield left and the Elite Blade KOs. So pretty decent lead here. Crobat into Mantine. Gonna go straight for the Ice Beam. That one shot's left, right, good night. Out comes a mile and they quit the match. So. Gonna go into your nine tails here. Noctowl comes in. They're gonna go for that sky attack. Do you go straight for the overheat? And is the opponent going to shield? They no shield that. And you almost one shot that Noctowl, able to farm all the way down. And if that Registeel wants to come back in, which it doesn't, because it's a Trevenant, you have back to back. Whoa, I would have went for the back to back Weather Balls here, because that would have been the best play you could have made. But out comes the Registeel. Gonna have to shield up this Focus Blast here, because that would do maximum damage. Going for the Leap Blade bait here, and they call the bait like absolute savages. And unfortunately, you gotta go for the superpower. And with that, you debuff yourself. And that Zap Cannon does not KO. Don't know why the opponent didn't go for the Focus Blast because that definitely would have KO'd. Get into the Sleep Blade before you get knocked out. And that takes out the Registeel. Getting into the Mantine Ice Beam. Gonna take out that Trevenant. Left, right, good night. And on to the next game. Horrible League. Gonna go sway. Switch into your Antonian Ninetale. Surf is gonna do an absurd amount of damage. But they decide to catch on the freaking Mandibuzz and going for a back to back overheat. Doesn't quite one shot because Mandibuzz is an absolute tank. And now, do you double shield? No, you let it go down. I like that play. Get a nice little farm down with the Lorantis. And what comes in? It's a freaking Reggie Steel. Gonna go for the superpower here. That does maximum damage. I would have went for the back to back superpowers and maybe tried to catch a move. But now you have to force a shield here from yourself. And catching the Focus Blast on the Mantine. Absolutely amazing. Thunderbolt going to be coming in left, right, good night. And now you can go here for the Leap Blades. Doesn't quite KO. Going for another Leap Blade. And all the opponent has to do is save a shield. Oh my gosh, this is resistant because now you're able... Oh, you should have farmed down. I don't know if you would have been able to get the farm down, but... Either way, you got the superpower locked and loaded to win this game. Hopping into the next matchup here. Sand Slash. Cantonian Sand Slash coming in. You should have just went for the Bubble Beam Bait. It is super effective and it does debuff them. Didn't really matter anyway. They get the Night Slash boost like an absolute savage. In comes a Ferrothorn. Say hello to Cantonian Ninetales. And this Ferrothorn is running Acid Spray. That power up, I don't think, would have KO'd. But uh, in comes a Dragalge, that Poison Dragon typing. Now you're going to go for the Overheat here. That does so much freaking damage. Going to go for another Weather Ball. Grabbing that last shield. In comes a Mantine. Going to take that Outrage to the face. And now you have a move bank locked and loaded. Leap Blade coming in. That takes him out. Can you get there? No, you can't. But Night Slash is not going to be enough to KO. Leap Blade oh, sure will KO. Left, right, good night. Sand Slash onto the next game here. So, pretty favorable lead for the Tentacruel here, considering all your charge moves are resisted. And they could just go Acid Spray here and pretty well farm you all the way down. Even though you're going to be debuffing them, they are going to be debuffing you back. And it's just going to be a back and forth debuff city here. 
Um, they decide to swap into a call Witzar. Oh, look at the hard gun in here, eh? <laughs> hey, my goodness. I've never seen this Pokemon ever run in the Go Battle League. This is some spice for y'all. Leap Lake comes in, takes it out. Left, right, good night. Getting that last shield from the Tentacruel. You come back in and the opponent decides to throw energy. And, oh, you got to get to that Weather Ball. I'm hoping this KOs, but it's not quite enough to KO. And now the opponent can just debuff you but in comes a jump bluff you're gonna be able to get to this overheat left right good night jump bluff so many big bang attacks and my goodness in comes a lantern you swap into the nine tails out comes a glass or overheat coming in hot left right good night and they completely sack the freaking oh my god goodness gracious that was freaking crazy you winning switch just like that Lorantis on to spanking a superpower they feather dance you but you could just go straight ice beam here and there's no need to debuff them because they're still going to be able to take out your lorantis whether they're debuffed or not but it might be a good incentive to bait the next time around gonna double shield here you have to get this last shield because you have a superpower banked combo play with the lorantis good night pidgeot ggs on to the next game here these games are going so fast. I have, I have these battles speeded up times two, so they're really, really fast. Uh, Scrappy into Mantine. This is fine here. Foul play does a decent amount of damage, but you can just debuff them here. And if they want to stay in, now you go for the Ice Beam. Do they want a shield? No, left, right, good night. Out comes a Galarian Weezing, and they do outpace you to that Brutal Swing. But it doesn't matter because you live. And that gets a shield. You come in with the Alolan Nine or Cantonian Nine Tails, but out comes a Swampert. And with the energy, or sorry, with the shield, oh, they freaking sludge bomb you. Oh my, it's so bad. All you had to do is shield. No. Oh, now you're forced to shield farm down, get to the overheat, but with it already being debuffed, it is enough to KO and you win that match. Whoa. My gosh, I did not think you were crazy. Okay, Dark Pulse comes and does a decent amount of damage. Gonna go for the Bubble Beam here. Don't know if I like that play. I think I just would have went straight Ice Beam just to get the raw damage off. But now you double debuff and you get... Oh my goodness, the opponent comes in with Araquin or, or Ariados to a Fire type. If you don't know, Bug takes... I think they misclicked here because they should have came into the Azumarill. But with double water in the front, yeah, they just quit the match. Good lead here. Just have to watch out for the Psychic. Oh my gosh. I would have came in with the Lorantis because the Fury Cutters are going to be doing super effective damage. I would have thrown a Bubble Beam off first just to make sure that they are debuffed and they couldn't take you out. And it would have preserved Switch for you. But the Overheat is not enough damage to KO there. And now you're forced to shield. Going for the back-to-back -back Weather Balls here. That gets the shield gonna let this one go and now you come in with Lorantis. you get a nice little farm down but back in comes the medichamp gonna throw the leap blade here that does so much damage to a medichamp everybody like any combo play here i love that combo play forcing them to go into this lantern i like this play to debuff them because now you can just come in with uh Lorantis. you can get a lot of energy here because you're not going to be forced to uh throw energy now because they are debuffed and that thunderbolt is not enough to ko now you have the back-to-back -back leap blades and this is sure gonna ko that many champ good game to your opponent there so drip bloom here do i see a lot of drip blooms building up to the ice beam and now baiting with the bubble beam i do like this play considering you're gonna get debuffed oh my gosh they go straight for the shadow ball and you over farm a little bit too much and then you shield the bait move. Ice Beam comes in, gets shielded. You do outpace the next Ice Beam because Hex is a slow charging move. Unfortunately, Hex is just garbage. Unless you're jealous and you have the bulk to use it with. But in comes, oh gosh. Eh. Do you shield the Sludge Wave? No, it's just a Hydro Cannon. But you're sure gonna be able to make it to the back-to-back -back Leaf Blades here. Left, right, good, nice Swamper. And now you can go for the superpower to the opponent. No, no, they don't. That's massive. And now you're gonna get the last shield. Oh, there is no more shields. What am I talking about? Great lead here. Talon Flame into uh, Mantang. Uh, Brave Bird comes in. That does so much freaking damage, everybody. Oh my gosh. Oh, you should have thrown your move before um, or right on CMP to force a shield from your opponent. But now you're gonna be going for this overheat. They no shield that, but you are 
debuffed here, so that's why it did not do a lot of damage. You are able to take switch advantage here, but now this Talonflame doesn't have to shield this, and it's just gonna farm up so much freaking energy. Oh my gosh, and they let it go like a freaking savage they are. Another Ice Beam gonna be coming. That gets the shield, and that preps Lorantis for the win here. Leaf Tornado does not get the debuff. That is super good. And the second Leaf Tornado comes in, they don't have Aerial Ace, so all they're gonna be doing is throwing resisted moves, and you just need to be going for the Leap Blade here because, oh, you tried to catch, that's okay. You, you shield this Leaf Tornado. Are they gonna outpace you? Just a, oh, the Frenzy Blade does a knockout, but you get to the Leap Blade. That's absolutely amazing. Crazy last game there. So if you want to try out Lorantis, go ahead, give it a try. It charges moves up so freaking fast. Leap Blade is a hard hitting move. Superpower is a hard hitting move. You're going to want to save shields for it because it is quite the glass cannon here. Mantine has nice bulk with the bubble beam and ice beam coverage. So give Mantine out a try as well. And if you want to go check out Ripley 32, there is a link in the description down below for their YouTube channel. So thank you so much for sending in these battles. If you want to send in your own battles, there's another link in the description down below so if you guys are liking the content please hit that like button comment if you want to see anything in the future and like always i will see everybody in the next video